What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Back with another video game review for you. This week, I'm going to take a look at Dark Rift for the Nintendo 64. This game was developed by Kronos Digital Entertainment and published by Tokai Communications with the North American release date of July 8th, 1997. This game was also later released in Japan under the title Space Dynamites. Dark Rift is the first 3D fighting game that runs at a smooth 60 frames per second on the Nintendo 64. The story for this game goes, focuses around fighters journeying into a dark rift to retrieve two of three shards called the Crystal of the Prime Elements. There's a total of four areas in this game, the Light Dimension, Dark Dimension, Neutral Dimension, which is where Earth is, and of course, the Dark Realm. So what exactly is this game? Well, it's a 3D fighting game that lets you choose from one of eight playable characters, with two more that you can unlock, and you face off in a one-on-one -on -one fighting. The game's default is the best three out of five, or you can choose it to be a two out of three rounds. You get your typical fighters here with some of the smaller and more quicker strikers, or big, slow, but stronger attackers, like the gameplay you see here. All in all, the character designs and background look pretty nice and feel very detailed for an early N64 fighting game title. And, thankfully, the characters all feel pretty different from one, one another. Next, I need to touch briefly on the controls. You use the C buttons to attack. C left is a horizontal attack. C up is a vertical. C down is a low attack. And C right is to block. With the B button being a grab. A is also block. You then can use the R and L buttons to sidestep around your opponent. The D-pad lets you move. If you hit up on the D-pad, you go up in the air. And if you press back twice or forward twice, it lets you dash forward or dash backwards. Overall, the controls for this game handle pretty well, but they can be very off-putting at first. It can take quite a while to really get used to using all the C buttons to in a fighting game. It's like, who would have ever thought of this? So, if you ever choose to pick this game up, keep that in mind. I also want to touch on the music and sound effects for this game. Dark Rift comes with a nice mix of instrumental hard rock. And while it's not great, it does fit the overall theme of the game pretty nicely. Likewise, the sound effects don't disappoint. They feel pretty solid. Got some nice tings of weapons when they collide or when you bite in your opponent. So the quintessential question everyone should be asking now, should you ask, should you add Dark Rift to your collection today? Well, to be honest, considering how few fighting games there are on the Nintendo 64, sure, go ahead and pick this one up. Just don't go in with super high expectations. Super Smash Brothers, this game is not. But overall, it's a pretty nice little budget fighting game, and you can still find it, at according to price charting, for right around $12. So should be pretty easy to pick up and find for cheap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.